Reusable rockets idea started together with the first space shuttle launch. However, it couldn't achieve the most important thing, lower the cost of launch. But then, many years later, in 2015, SpaceX landed vertically their first booster, and this was a huge impact on the space industry. Reusable rockets have spread among private space agencies like Blue Origin and Rocket Lab and even in other countries outside of the US. However, the idea of vertically landing rockets was already invented in the last millennium. At first, this gleaming white pyramid, resting on four, spindly legs, seems to be having almost nothing in common with a rocket. DCX, or Delta Clipper Experimental, was supposed to replace the space shuttle program and become a more sustainable, futuristic spacecraft. Firstly, DCX began as a U.S. Air Force project with aerospace manufacturer McDonnell Douglas. In the first test, the rocket flew only one minute and reached an altitude of 46 meters. Subsequent tests were also successful, DCX continued to take off and land almost directly where it began the flight, delivering on the promise of reusability. As the program matured, a new and upgraded version of the rocket, named DCXA began testing, which later on could reach an altitude of 3 kilometers. But then, on July 31, 1996, disaster struck. As the rocket was approaching the ground, one of her legs didn't deploy. As a result, DCXA became unstable and exploded. Even though this ended the whole DCX program, it was considered a success. And most importantly, it took the first step in the history of reusable, vertical landing rockets 